Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix battery drain on iOS 26 by following these steps. So let's get started. Very first thing after you update to iOS 26, or if you're already on iOS 26, is to make sure all of the apps on your phone are also updated. So go to the App Store, and in the App Store here, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and to our profile, and you're going to see if there's updates that are needed for the apps. And the reason why that is because once you update the phone software, the apps also have to be updated to meet the compatible version. So if there's bug fixes that cause the maybe the apps to drain your battery, it's going to go ahead and fix it. So you're going to click on Update All, and it'll begin to update all of your apps. So important step to do whenever you do a major update on your phone. The next thing you're going to go ahead and is check in your settings. You're going to go to Battery. And then in the battery section here, you're going to look for basically apps that take up a lot of battery by usage. So here I don't have it right now. It's not showing for me, but you will see basically apps that take up space. And the key thing here to remember is that if you have apps that take up space, you're going to want to remove them. If something you can remove, especially if you're not using it, or complete delete them and reinstall them. So if I wanted to delete an app, I'll long press and hold, click on remove, and then delete. And then you're going to delete and then go back to the app store to reinstall it again. So you're going to go ahead and review all of the apps. The next thing you're going to do is in your setting, go to general and then look for background app refresh. And here what happens is all of these apps are running in the background to pool data. You don't really necessarily need these. You can turn all of these off because once you open up app, it'll most likely give you the data that you need. So I usually turn this off or keep it on Wi-Fi. That way it doesn't drain up battery. Even it says here turning off apps may help preserve your battery life. So again, a setting you might want to consider turning off. The next thing you want to go ahead and review on your phone is if you have any widgets that you do not absolutely need. Widgets take up a little bit more battery than normal apps. So for example, if you didn't need a widget, you're going to long press and hold, remove widget, and then remove as well. So go ahead and do that as well. And again, review the widgets that you have, especially the ones that you don't need, delete them. The next setting you want to review to fix the battery drain is in your settings, you're going to go to privacy and security and take a look at location services. So if you have location services turned on for each of the app, you want to make sure that if you're not at app doesn't need location, you want to select never. If it's always using it while in the app or always on, it's going to constantly basically use the GPS on your phone, which is going to take a battery. So it's always good to review all of the apps and turn off unnecessary location services that are used with apps that you absolutely don't need. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is follow this step here. You're going to go ahead and quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold down the side button just like this. And you're going to keep on holding that volume as the side button down until the screen goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo, you will let go of that side button. So as you can see here, I'm waiting for the Apple logo. I let go. Again, all I did, if you didn't get it the very first time, try it again. It's quickly press and release volume up, volume down. And then I was holding down this side button until the screen went completely black and the Apple logo reappeared on the screen. This is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code to fix any software related issue. It will not delete any of your data. And once you're back on, you should be able to go ahead and use your phone again normally. Now, the next thing to do is in the settings, what you're going to do is go into your settings, go to general, software update, and look to see if there's a new update that potentially can fix bug fixes. Sometimes Apple realizes there's a bug fix for certain devices and it will release a fix for it. This could take the next few weeks for it to show up. So go ahead and see there's an update. If there is, as you can see like this one, you're going to go ahead and click on update now and update the phone app. As you can see here, certain things are fixed with each of the update, and it could be a battery fix with the update itself. Now, final thing to remember is that when you update to iOS 26, it's a new iOS version, so it takes a couple days sometimes for the phone to run certain things to optimize your phone, like indexing or making your data you know, compatible with the new version and all of that. And during this time, the battery is going to seem like it's draining quicker than normal 
which is expected but then after a few days you should see the battery optimize again and performing normal so it's sort of waiting out to see if it's truly just that happening and it might not really be a battery drain per se so that's how you fix it i hope this video was helpful so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks we'll see you guys next time